Brandon. Yeah. Uh, it's five o'clock. The neighbors just drove up. Uh, okay. Remember, we were gonna go rob them today for some extra cash. Oh yeah. Uh, just just give me a minute. I need to go and check every single comment on my YouTube page, just in case if anybody ever sends me a message or information that I may need. Yes. Oh my gosh! There's new hunter challenges on Mr. Pandaria Beta! I had no idea! And what's this? The camera's recording this whole time! It's almost like this was done on purpose! What? The camera's recording? The camera's recording- Oh my gosh! It's Jason! Call me Ishmael because I'm hunting the great white beast. Hello there, viewers. All of them, DC Hunters here. And right now, I am hunting Hexapost. Now, what the heck is a Hexapost? Well, quite frankly, it's the great white water strider found in the dread waste of Mists of Pandaria. However, the only way you can actually find this great white beast is by finding it through a hunter challenge. Just what exactly is a hunter challenge? It's probably the funnest thing to come for us hunters in Mists of Pandaria. So, get this. There will be trails of tracks. That's why right, tracks that are in the ground right now, as you can see from the map. Guess what? These tracks are actually tracks from print. These aren't Shango's tracks. Remember that quest? Well, guess what? This works exactly like that. Basically, you follow these tracks and you shoot down flares because as you see, there are tracks here, mean, meaning that there is obviously something here. However, it's stealthed, meaning that you will not be able to find it unless you throw down a flare. You could be right on top of it, but it will not aggro you because it's stealthed. You won't be able to find it, even if you have track hidden on. So the only way how you can actually unearth your special pet is if you use flare while following these set of tracks. It's actually really, really fun. Now, the way these tracks work is that there's actually a beginning and an end to them, meaning that they will begin in one side of the zone, and then they will actually end in a different part of the zone, which is actually kind of cool. So, later on, there's going to be little maps and little areas clearly showing where the, where the path begins and where the path ends. But as of right now, I have no idea that this path that I'm on right now is, is actually the beginning. So I'm shooting down flares left and right thinking that, okay, this pet's going to show up eventually. It's somewhere around here, but actually it turns out the pet is long gone and it's on its own path. So basically what I have to do right now is I have to turn around and look for the pet while following the tracks. But of course, I don't know this, so I'm just loafing around right here like an idiot. However, keep in mind, these tracks will actually disappear over time, meaning that if you see a uh, track disappearing, then that'll obviously mean that you are on the wrong side of the path. You are towards the beginning, and you have to follow whichever direction that these tracks are leading you. That way you can find more fresh tracks, and the fresher the tracks, the easier it'll be to find your stealthed pet. But right now, I'm going to skip ahead to the video where I actually find the Great White Water Strider and come to the final end of the path. So, let's get to it. So, I come to the end of the path now, and I'm just sort of chilling on this rock right now because my flare is on cooldown. So, I'm looking at this mysterious path and mysterious track, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, there, a, a track just came up right now. It's a fresh track. Wait a minute, does that mean the pet is right here? Let me just shoot down a flare right here and I don't see anything, but... Uh, oh my god, what is that? It's the great white water strider with the, its pink and its white and its... Oh, it looks awesome and I'm gonna abandon this pet because, hey, it's a beta. That means these pets don't really matter too much. But now we can tame this great... Uh, he's, he's, just, he's just walking away. He's just walking away like... What? Well, he, he's not aggroed? Why is he not? There we go, okay. So even though he was not aggroed, we still got him. This is Hexapost, the Great Right Water Strider, and it's actually kind of cool because he came from all the way over here to all the way down here. That's insane. 
clearly this guy has some kind of agenda going on because he travels a long distance and I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's running errands for another water strider. I really don't know, but whatever the case, clearly when he leaves the water, he's up for grabs. Now, you may have already noticed this, but Hexapost is actually a gold elite, not a silver dragon rare elite. And guess what? Hunter challenge pets are actually going to be gold elites. The reason why is because there's too many people out there killing silver dragons thinking that, oh, I'm going to get some cool loot out of this, but then guess what? They ended up just being hunter pets, so they only give out crystallized tears. So clearly, they decided, you know what? Screw that. We're not going to have them be silver dragons. They're just going to be gold elites. That way, nobody tries to gank them and steal the kill. It's pretty damn awesome if I do say so myself. Now, keep in mind, just because it's not a silver dragon does not mean that it does not have a long respawn timer. The only difference is that it's a gold elite, not a silver elite. So clearly, it's still going to take a long time for it to respawn after you tame it. So overall, there will officially be no silver dragon rare elite pets for hunters to tame in Mists of Pandaria. However, there will be hunter challenge pets. And I gotta say, that's a lot more fun. I had a lot more uh, fun basically trying to actually find out where this pet was instead of simply just waiting around, camping, just trying to find it. It was much more enjoyable. So I have to say props to Blizzard and thank you so much for giving us hunter challenges. It's fantastic. Overall, just a lot of fun. But now comes to the end of the video. Once again, big shout outs to XFighter321. Without you, this video would not be possible. And as always, this is Zolo, wishing you all happy hunting and thanks for watching.